hello everyone welcome to my video in this video we're gonna look into helm charts especially we're gonna look into helm templates and I've, I've been using the spring api helm charts to explain the helm and helm chart concepts so let's go ahead right into the lesson so what i did in the beginning was i basically created a couple of manifest files and I pushed them into this templates directory so I created like a deployment YAML and a service YAML and this is the chart.yaml file which is uh, you know which is created under helm charts directory right so now if you look at this file all the the key value pairs over here like this is a yaml file right so you have all these key value pairs right they all have like values literal values so you can use this as a helm chart but there is zero customization happening here actually we're going to see how we can customize a helm template right so the template files are under the templates directory we know that okay now how can we customize it okay so these values right they can come from multiple sources one is actually they can come from the the chart itself the helm chart itself so i can replace the app name with the chart name because uh, my chart chart name is spring api so i'm going to just use that and i'm going to replace that in all the places where we are basically naming the the deployment or the service basically all the names i want to replace with the chart name okay and let's say uh for i'm sorry these are the labels right so the names let's say for this one we can use chart name and maybe we can also use release name okay so when we deploy the helm charts we you know we input the release name along with it right when we install it or upgrade it we put the release name so that also can be used in the in the values actually right so now these are um, directives or variables or whatever you want to call it but basically these are similar to um, the variables that we use in programming languages right so these are sort of like inbuilt variables right you know we, we haven't actually defined them anywhere we just like we're just using it okay so here you can see i'm using the chart name in most of the places for name i'm using chart name dot release name deployment right so now this is good so you know as i'm changing all these things we want to like validate it as we change it right so the way you validate it is by using uh, a couple of commands so one is helm template and the name of the helm chart right you can see it's already saying like there's something wrong with it okay so as you can see there is a typo in my uh in my release right so that actually is perfect because I, you know it it was able to validate that and then catch that error so now you know helm is able to render this helm chart properly right as you can see it's using some placeholder values because you know this is just the template command and at this point actually it doesn't really know the the release name okay and then it replaces the chart name everywhere right so this is fine now you can also use another uh, command uh, which is something that you're familiar with so helm install and then 
you can put the name of the release and then the name of the helm chart and in order to validate we can use this particular option or argument so you can just put a dry run and debug and that actually um, you know that that is even better but because it actually like fetches the values from the runtime environment kubernetes environment and it it even knows the release name and all so all that actually uh you know you can see here right because the previous command just substituted some default value but this command actually used the right release name because we did provide that as part of this command okay so these are two commands that you can use to kind of like validate your uh, you know template files okay so now let's keep going so so basically we can use these chart the the variables or directives from the chart or the release and you can also use um, a file actually called values so the values file is usually at the root of this helm chart okay so i'm going to create a new file called values.yaml and in that file uh, we can you know for example we can replace these things okay for example let's actually go ahead and put something called replica count in this file and then i want only one replica okay so now we can replace that over here like values dot replica count okay now that's perfect okay so now um, let's actually do the same thing for the image now image contains two parts one is the the you know in this case it's a docker repository and the other part is the tag okay so i'm gonna do this image and repo i think repo is fine i'm gonna copy the value from here to there and tag is eight okay right so i basically use uh string in most of the cases okay so now so this is perfect actually so let's go over here and then change it to dot values dot image dot repo right and then similarly dot values and then tag basically okay so now most of these things are replaced with customizable variables or directives okay now i'm going to remove some some of these things which don't make sense save so let's use the same method to um, validate everything okay so okay so i just use this thing and it looks fine right you can see like it's actually able to retrieve the the values from this values.yaml file okay so now our helm chart looks very customizable right so let's do the same thing for the other uh, kubernetes object which is the, the service okay so here also i'm going to use the chart name and okay now port so i'm going to go to the values file values.yaml and then i'm going to define more values for port let's say let's say 80 target port is 80 80 okay so we can substitute all that in the in this file ok 
okay so this one's gonna be dot values dot service dot port and then so this one's gonna be target port okay this is perfect and finally let's just use the so for which application it's going to the service is for it's going to be you know it's going to match this guy okay so yeah all right all good now let's validate one more time it's perfect actually okay so everything is rendering properly now let's go ahead and do the actual deployment and see if it works helm install spring api and um, i'd say just say v or just rel okay so it stands for release and then the name of the helm chart directory spring api okay so it was able to deploy everything properly okay so it created the the deployment and it has one one replica right and um, the pod is up and running so it basically use the image and uh, tag values properly otherwise the pod cannot be created so basically the helm template was customized okay so now one more thing one last thing before i you know move on to the next topic so let's go ahead and uninstall this okay okay that's fine okay so it's going to be uninstalled okay the service will take a little bit of time to get deleted but but basically the whole thing is uninstalled now see some of these values can be passed from the helm command itself okay so for example if i want to um, install this helm chart okay but i want to pass the the replica count um, let's see like if I pass the replica count as 2 because now this contains the value 2 whereas the values dot yaml contains the value 1 right so let's see actually which takes precedence or preference right so or which overrides right so if you look at this particular command and the output of it now you can see that we have like two pods basically because we provided that uh, as an input and this overrided whatever was in the values.yaml file so this shows like that whatever we pass in the helm command overrides this and also you can pass values from this command actually right you don't need to have everything in this values.yaml so now there is one other way to actually pass the values which i haven't seen um being used uh, but that's basically if you have a separate file which is not called as values values.yaml it is basically let's say custom values or whatever now you can actually um, put your key, key values there and then uh, you can just say minus f and then the name of the file uh, while installing the helm chart and that also works but I have not seen that kind of implementation in most of the cases but hopefully uh, this video was clear and I hope you guys are learning a lot from this series uh, if you want to encourage me please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, 
you know post your questions or co questions as comments i'll try to get back to you and uh, thank you so much for your time i'll see you guys again next week